What's going on? This is Ryan with Automatic Comics. And up next, I have a short, but I feel like important, pretty unfortunate update that I've got about the video I put out recently where I talked about the risks of comic collecting, where the one collector, in theory, lost about $4,000 uh, on that uh, X Force number two. This is about the Daredevil number 182 that lost a 9.9. .9. There had been two on the census, then there was only one, and I had speculated that maybe that book lost its grade. So I put out a short about it. I've had a couple people comment in the, in the comments for that video as well, and so I thought that this is worthwhile really pointing out specifically and talking about in a video because, I mean, this is really a huge risk if you are sending you know, books in to be recased. So let's get into this. All right, so before we get started, please remember to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. So if you didn't watch that video that I put out, I had a video that was talking about a X-Force number two that had sold on Comic Link for $4,600, then a 9.9, .9, and then another 9.9 .9 sold on eBay for $700, effectively, you know, maybe meaning that that, that person lost about $4,000 in value on their book. But I was also talking about risks and other 9.9s that were out there, risks that go with different parts of collecting. And one of the areas I talked about was a Daredevil 182 and how it had two 9.9s on the census, and then that dropped to one. And there was a Daredevil 182 that had sold recently in a 9.9, .9, and I was speculating that the person sent it back in to get reholdered, and they might have lost the grade. Now, I thought it was maybe because it received case damage, which is possible, but it seems like it might be something else, which is a little more concerning. <laughs> uh, but I, I mean, but I can't say for sure. I mean, it would have to come from CGC or whoever owns the book. So if the person who, again, who bought that book has any information about it, I would, I would love to hear about it, but I don't know who bought that book. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is GPA. We had a Daredevil number 182, you can see here in a 9.9 .9 that sold for $1,680 in June of this year. And so within GPA, you can uh, you can click on, some of them have links to go to the actual sold listing. And if you go to see that listing, here it is on Heritage, you can see this is that book. It's this Daredevil holding Electra's tombstone, 9.9, $1,680. And so unfortunately, I didn't think to do it during the video. I checked afterwards, which is clearly what other people did too. Because like I said, I had the, the comments in there uh, where people had, had gone and checked to see what happened. And one of the things you can do is if you're looking at the, the serial number, you can go plug that serial number into CGC's website and you can see details on that book. And you can either do that directly through CGC's website or if you uh, are on Heritage, they, have, they provide a link directly to it. And so if we click on this link, it takes us over to CGC and you can see now this book, same cert number, is now a 9.8. And if we jump over to GPA and we look at a 9.8, the last sale of a 9.8 is $109. The, I mean, we've got 109, 120, 149, 87. I mean, it's basically a 100 to $125 book, give or take, versus... 1680 which is what the 9.9 .9 sold for. Now you can have the argument about whether you think somebody should pay an extra 10x, 15x whatever it is for 0.1. I mean, that's just that's up to the collector. It's what you what you value, what you want to have, but this is legitimately the risk of what happens of what can happen when you send a book back in for reholdering. That CGC can regrade that book and if they determine that it's no longer the grade that was on the case, they can reassign that grade. Now, the thing that's a little concerning with this one, and unfortunately, we don't know what the grader's note said before this was regraded here on August uh, 21st of this year. But now the grader notes say light shadow, full bottom back cover. Now, a dust shadow is not being added to a book when it's in the case. A dust shadow like that is, is happening when you have multiple books stacked on top of one another 
one of the edges or a piece of the book is exposed to the atmosphere and you get this little discoloration on the book. That means, and it takes usually years, like decades potentially, to have those types of, of shadows form. And so this was on this book when it was graded the first time, when it was a 9.9, .9, that was on the book. And so the question is, did they get that book in and go, ah, now I see this dust shadow, I'm going to give it a 9.8. .8. I don't think that is reasonable to do. Now, if they pay them the difference, that's a different story. Like they give them 15 or $1,600, return the 9.8. .8. The person has 9.8, .8, but have their money back effectively for the, what they paid. Or they pay them the full value of the book and they keep it, whatever it is, I don't know. But that would be troubling <laughs> to me. If like, there's no sign that the book was shifted or damaged inside. And it's just that the next time the person saw it, they saw the shadow and they're like, I don't think this is a 9.9. -9. I mean, that should scare you if you're sending books in for reholdering. Now, I have talked about this in one of my like like little chat groups and uh, Drew over at Como Comics, he, he made the comment, he's like, a 9, 9 and a 10 should never see the inside of CGC again. And I, I definitely agree. Like, the, and that's, that's why I think that that Hulk 181, anytime we've seen it, and it's been a long time since that book has been public, it's in that really old case, the super old label. I mean, if you sent that 9, 9 in, and it comes back a nine eight. You just lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And so, like, if you unless you can get some type of insurance policy or something like that to say, like, if this book drops when you're regrading, you get paid out. There is no way I would send a nine nine or a ten back into CGC unless it was like some ultra modern. It's only worth like one hundred and fifty dollars or something. Your risk isn't super high. But with this, when the book drops from uh, $1,700 effectively down to $125. It's a huge risk. And this isn't even a, like a really expensive nine, nine. There are nine nines that are 30, 40, 50,000. If you send that in and it drops and you lose 30, 40, $50,000, I mean, that is a huge, huge loss. And to me, this shows that that's a very real possibility. And so now I don't think the risks are nearly as high when you start getting out of nine, nine and 10. Now, I mean, nine, eight, there's still probably some, <laughs> some risk there, uh, but like at nine, nine and 10, I think it's the biggest risk and just be happy with the case that it's in. Um, I would not take that gamble and send that in. Unfortunately for this person, you know, they, they lost on that one. I mean, that's why I've seen people send in, you know, nine eights for recasing that they just, cause they wanted a new, like a custom label that are like 30, 40 grand. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, like, that is the biggest gamble that you can take by sending that book in just to get a new label. And then, you know, you could drop to a nine six and then that book loses half or more of its value. And so there are certain things where you just, it's not worth the risk. Now, the other thing, I, I went and took a look at this book and, you know, it says that there's like this, you know, the notes say light shadow, full bottom back cover. I mean, we'll zoom way in here. I don't see much going on here. I mean, it's like, is it this, is there some, is, is this like a little bit of maybe something here? I mean, there are nine nines with off white to white pages. Like what? I, I don't get this regrade. I, I mean, I would be, I would be pretty upset <laughs> with this regrade. Like, if it's not something, and obviously we don't have the details. So if it's not something like it shifted and then they had to repress, like it got damaged, they had to repress it and they gave it a nine, eight or something like that. I mean, I don't see a shadow down here. Maybe you do, but I mean, I don't see a shadow here. And if that's the reason that it got dropped, like that, I don't know. That's unacceptable. But again, I'm speculating. I would love to hear from you know, CGC or something about what went on with this book, because I don't understand this one, especially that, that note that's on there now. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to point this one out to really drive home the risks that are there. If you are sending a book back in for recasing. Now I've had people ask about why this one, why the nine, nine is such a big deal versus, you know, other grades where you might get a shift in grade. Is because when you have a, a book that maybe it goes from a five to a five five, 
value changes a few percent, maybe five or 10% at most. This is a book where it dropped like 93% in value because of that grade change. Like that's the big difference here when we're talking about nine nines and tens versus nine eights and other grades where you don't have necessarily these huge value shifts. Now you can in moderns have like big, sh and even bronze and silver, you can have pretty big value shifts between like nine, eight, nine, six. Like those are all things you need to think about if you're ever considering sending a book back in for recasing is what is the risk if that book drops a grade. Um, but <laughs> like uh, this, the risk is extremely high. Now I, I have had, there's somebody that, that asked, uh, asked me, but what if they raise the grade? I have never, never heard of somebody sending a book in to get recased and getting a higher grade. I would love to know if that has ever happened. If anybody has ever sent a book in for recasing and they got a higher grade without pressing or anything like that, I would love, I would love to hear, <laughs> hear that that happened because I doubt it. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. And this is just my, my warning, my follow-up from that, uh, that last video. And I will see you on the next one.